Hello everybody, this is Code to J. Today I will show you how to use order by and group by to sort and aggregate data in MySQL. Sounds exciting? Let's get started. Using the select statement, we can query rows from the MySQL table. As you can see, we have selected the first 10 rows of the table product. We can simply sort the rows by the order by clause. Let's say we want to sort rows based on the column stock ascending. We just need to add the statement order by stock ASC after the table name product. ASC stands for ascending. MySQL will sort ascending by default, so we can remove the ASC part. From the results, we see the rows are sorted by the stock ascending. If we want to sort rows descending, we just need to add DESC after the column name. DESC means descending. Now, rows with larger stock appear at the top. For numeric columns, we can sort them by their values, while for string columns, we can sort them alphabetically. For instance, if we sort by the column name ascending, the results will order by name from A to Z, while sorting descending, it will order by the name from Z to A. Sorting by multiple columns can be simply achieved by adding column names with ascending or descending, then separating by a comma. For example, sorting the product by stock ascending, then by price descending. We can see the results has been ordered by stock ascending at first. Then products with the same stock level will be ordered by price descending. Sometimes we might be interested in data aggregation because it brings us many valuable insights. For example, how is our price distributed? For each price level, how many products do we have? And what is the stock situation? To get a list of unique values for a column, we can use the distinct clause. For instance, the command select distinct price from product will return the unique value of the column price. The result shows there are in total 199 different prices. The same result can be achieved by the group by clause with the command select price from product group by price. It basically groups all the rows into different partitions based on the column price. What's more useful is we can add aggregation functions to draw insights for each group. For example, we can see the total number of products for each price group by adding comma, count, parenthesis, as their sign, as num product, for simple visualization, we add limit 10 to see the first 10 rows. From the results, we can tell that we are selling 5 products at $95.99 and 8 products at $35.99. We can add more aggregation functions, for instance, comma, mean, stock, as minimal stock, calculates the minimal stock level for each price group. We can also change the main function to max to get the maximum stock level for each price group. There are a variety of aggregation functions provided by MySQL. Basically, we can add as many aggregation functions as we need. You can check out the reference link in the video description. All the MySQL techniques we have learned so far, such as selecting, filtering, sorting, and aggregating, are explained in a separate video. It doesn't mean to prevent you combine them. Instead, in reality, we have to apply them together to achieve our goals. For example, we can apply sorting and aggregation together to show the stock level of the product with the 10 lowest prices by sorting the aggregation result by price ascending or get insights from the product with the 10 most stock levels by sorting the aggregation result by the aggregation function, sum, stock, descending. That's it. You have learned how to use order by and group by to sort and aggregate data in MySQL.
If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the like button. Feel free to use the Google Form link in the description to request video topic. I will talk to you at the next one. Bye-bye.